Hey tribe, welcome to HDDC, HD Design to Crochet. I'm Heather and this channel is the home of the humble granny square in its masses and it's documenting my journey as a crochet designer. Tribe, I've recorded this intro like four or five times now. I'm just, whoo My head is full of all these thoughts and I feel like my afro is just an extension of it. Um, it's a glorious sunshine bank holiday Monday here and I hope wherever you are that you are safe, you are well and that you've had plenty of crochet time. Um, I wanted to record my May in review but there's still a few days of May left so that will actually be for next weekend when May is done entirely. But I really really miss coming here and having a chat with you all. I did a Zoom chat with Tribe Stars on um, Saturday night, so a couple of evenings ago, and I really, really enjoy that. Um, and I've, I just want to sit and have a chat with you. So, as a bit of a prelude for my May in review next week, I am going to sit, make granny squares with you, and have a good chat. Warning: I have really strong hay fever, and I can feel sneezes coming but I can edit them out because it's not alive. If you want to see the live where I sneeze like 500 times, it's here. Um, if you are brand new, hi, hello, and welcome. My usual channel setup is to do a monthly review of all my whips and in between I put mini vlogs out. But today I really wanted to have a little chat too. And if you're returning, hey tribe, what's good, what's happening? <sighs> The sunshine is out and it's beautiful. So let's have our good chat and then I'm going to relocate into the garden. So, and talking of garden, so Friday just gone, the start of the weekend, the soil delivery arrived. So Brad and I ordered 750 litres of soil to fill the three veggie beds that we've got. Um, and we've been we've been waiting about I think it's 28 days but due to everything going on that was like there was a warning on the website and it was to be expected um, however the website did say however the website did say you'll get it soon not the website the emails so we didn't know when soon would be um, and Brad literally came home one day and it was just outside um, like in the car park area um, so he wheelbarrowed all of that into the veggie bed, which meant Saturday morning I could get up and transplant all of the plants. Hang on, I've got to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, spot on. And um, it was, it was so many things all at once. Um, so because I am so fond of my patio area, which I think so many of you are as well, and I love being surrounded by all of the plants, and because they have grown, they're quite established and they've grown quite big in the last couple of months, I love how the patio is such a green area, and then when I took pretty much all of those plants to then put in the veggie bed, I felt really, really sad that my patio was no longer this like green haven. Um, and then we put what I had grown in the veggie beds and it doesn't even go like halfway in filling them. Um, and I basically burst into tears because my plants were so far like dispersed that I didn't feel like I was in this um, really green area anymore. But we rearranged some of the plants so I've still got some containers on my patio and it also meant that yesterday, Sunday, I spent from about 7am in the morning till about 2 o'clock in the afternoon um, repotting the pots that stay, the things that are staying in pots, making sure they've got enough space, um, transplanting in effect and then sowing lots of seeds. I've actually sown 150 bean plants. Um, for those of you who don't know, gardening's become my new thing. Even though this is a yarn and crochet podcast, the two really come together at the moment and um, 
I have the veggie beds to fill, my patio area, and then also my dad has an allotment. So although 150 plants might sound like a lot, there's more than enough space for it to go. And then also have a couple of friends that I have been like swapping plants with, and then my uncle also will have any extras. Um, and I found this handy dandy little guide on uh, Google and, or is it Pinterest? Probably Pinterest. And it said that per person you need 45 bean plants. Um, and I think Brad and I are gonna try and keep about 70 and then the rest will go between friends and family. Um, and then I've planted, planted or sown quite a lot of seeds, um, but it's the last batch of vegetable seeds for like a summer harvest. Um, anything from now on that I want, I'll either buy in plant form or it'll be for the winter harvest. So I do feel better now that the conservatory has been filled up with more seed trays and so is the little greenhouse. Um, and then I have got plenty of containers on my patio so I can still sit out there and be surrounded by my plants. Um, I actually sat out there, I think it was like Friday lunchtime and I just loved like the courgettes were looking really big, everything was growing up around me. And then we transplanted the courgettes and it was just, it was traumatic for us both. So the courgette, any plant that you transplant goes into shock because you've messed with its roots and where it's living, but they just kind of completely wilted. And I was like, oh, I've been growing them for two months. Oh, um, so I, I did have a cry and Brad did have to like, give me a hug and say it's okay you can plant more plants um but I'm happy to say they are reviving um wow and then I've spent quite a bit of time on YouTube watching like gardening videos um also hair care videos recipes but I haven't really been watching anything yarn related I don't know why that is um and also I have found that Team Finisher, which is something um, Shardine and Casey, two of my tribe stars, we started Team Finisher. And that basically means that we do our best to finish projects. And because of that, I have found that I've been pausing on making things instead to weave in ends. So I've got all of these waiting for me. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So on our Zoom chat on Saturday, I think I weaved in the ends on 15 squares. Um, just because I get to a point where I think I can't make any more, I need to catch up with myself. Um, I am going to spend this afternoon weaving in the ends on squares. I have got in this project bag that my friend Nicole so wonderfully and kindly made for me. I've got a stash of granny squares. Because I'm doing the whip review next week, my month in review, I'm not going to go into all the details of the projects I'm working on. But I did think it would be quite cool if um, I asked you all to guess how many granny squares I have or will have made in the month of May. Um, so to let you know, to give you a fair fair chance, put you in a picture of how many I have made so far. I'm going to quickly tell you the whips I have been working on, but not go into huge detail. So there's this whip, this is my together blanket, and every day I have been adding a granny square onto it. I started it where um, the first day I started working from home due to the coronavirus and I've decided to continue doing it until social distancing is no longer a thing. If that means that I finish this blanket due to the size and then start a second one, so be it. Um, so there's a square for every day in May there. So that's your first clue. The second clue is I am making a... I'm going to do this whip and then I'll grab the stuff for the next whips because they're dotted everywhere. I am making a huge batch of these three round granny squares and these are destined to become a garment 
and think full body length garment, okay? Not just a jumper, it's gonna be long length. Um, I started these, um, I want to say Wednesday, and I've got a quota. I, I'm trying to do 12 a day because it means in a couple of weeks time when I have a week off work, I will have all of the squares. So there's all of these, oh gosh, and there's all of the ones in the project bag. And then I'm gonna insert some footage of my windowsill where I have more of these lined up. And then also I have a huge stack of granny squares, <coughs> excuse me, that I have made for my spring blanket. And they're in a beautiful ombre and I'm not about to mess that up right now. Um, I think I did start that project in May. I will go back in my photos to check when they first started coming up. Um, I will know actually because I messaged Ida gave me the idea on Instagram and so it will be there. Um, and there was going to be 63 squares there, so as your second indication, that's three granny square projects. I also finished Promise, a sweater dress which I'll grab just to show you, but we're not going into the details, okay? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. This is Promise, this is my sweater dress, made entirely of granny squares, including the sleeves. Now, I had the bulk of this done. I'm not gonna claim all of these squares. However, I ripped out 40 squares and realised I needed to put 10 back. So, there's another clue as to how many squares I've added onto this. Oh, don't you just love that? Oh my goodness. Skills! This pattern has been written up. And as soon as my <clears throat> granny, the grey crop, has been released, this one will go to my wonderful tech editor. Um, and then, I think that's it. But you need to go back to my previous vlogs just to see if I finished any other projects at the start of this month. So, yes. So, so many granny squares. So, at the end of the month of May, how many granny squares will I have made, tribe? Put them in the comments below and when I do my whip review next week I will do some shout outs and see how many you think that I will have made and I'll tell you how many I have made. I think this might end up becoming a reoccurring thing because the amount of granny squares, like I have a, a rough total in my head so far, the amount of granny squares I make is insane. Granny square game strong. Um, I just love them. I just love them. I love being surrounded by granny squares and plants. I just love it. Um, the other whips that I will be going through is I have made quite a bit of progress on my Aaron card again. Um, and then I finished a very tiny knitted project that I wanted to work on. Um, and... Did I start? I think I did. I swatched a couple of things and I possibly started one and might might finish might finish. Might add a little bit to it today just so when I sit down with you it's not like here's my cast on. <laughs> um as I was saying to my tribe stars, I have been leaning towards knitting at the moment and I think there's a couple of reasons for it. One it's a challenge and I'm finding with the Aaron it really occupies my mind which I want more and more at the moment and the other one being is that for crochet if it's this really weird line where my hobby is also um, like business at the same time which I'm don't get me wrong that's how I want it to be that's my ultimate goal my ultimate gain however because when I get to the evening, usually I crochet to relax. Um, I'm finding that 
I don't want to crochet if I've got a project outstanding because I feel guilty that I'm not crocheting on that um, and so I've been reaching for knitting. The only way I've found to counteract that slight guilt is if I have stacks of granny squares that I need to make for another project. I can sit and make these quite mindlessly but granny squares are definitely my go-to um, and I have got tons of these. I have been weaving the ends as I've gone along for a project that I have in mind. Also, I resisted buying yarn. It was payday on Friday. I've decided I'm just going to keep carrying on with the yarn that I've got because I'm not going to run out anytime soon. And the things I do want to buy, I just made this one. The things I do want to buy, like the joining colours, because at the moment we're getting between 20 and 25 degree weather, I don't want to be sat with a blanket on top of me while I join it. Like, I'm only going to work on tiny things like this. I love that colour. That is Stylecraft. I think it's... Is it okra or gold or mustard? It's something like that, but look at that. And then that one is pomegranate. And they just, they just look so nice together. Um, so I've decided to hold off on buying yarn. <sighs> but don't worry, I've got a huge buying list, shopping list. Double yellow and pink. I'm having loads of fun making these. And what I do is, like I have a, a bag of yarn here in my Josie Rose Harry Potter bag. Um, and I just decide what my outer edge is going to be. So example here it was white. And I just keep picking out and making as many different combos as possible. And I try and do my 12 squares for that day all in the one joining colour. Because it means when I put it together I will have quite a mix. Um, because it's a bit harder to show in this project. But they all use the same colours. And then so for example that one has a red centre and then that one has a red outer edge. Um, and so although they're randomly selected, it's how you keep the cohesion. Um, and this project, I used a 4.5mm hook on those and this one. Is that right? Or was that a 4? I have to check, I've got it written down. These are a 3.5, this is a 4.5, I think that's a 4. And um, they're that much smaller can see and they have arguably more yeah more area than this to cover so I'm going to need quite a lot of them I've done a really rough guesstimate of how many I need <sighs> right let's put these away to be worked on in the garden in a little bit um, what else did I want to chat to you about? Really I just wanted to stop by, see how everyone is. I know that there's so much going on that there's just a whole host of emotions and things to sort of navigate each day and there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of unknown and like I totally get it's so difficult. Um, and so I just wanted to pop in, see how you are, make sure you're doing as well as possible and bring lots of crochet to you just to just to give you a boost and a little bit of um, a distraction. Keep finding soil under my nails. Sorry. And then just really just to blather on about my beautiful garden and all of the plans that I've got for it. <laughs> Let me know below if you would like a designated garden tour video um, to show you the plants that I've got and what I've got sown because I would love to do that um, and might just do it anyway and if you're not into gardening you don't have to watch it and if you want to just see it because there will be yarn interspersed in there there always is then that's great um, but I am seeing a lot of people have taken up gardening or taken up a new hobby um, and so I think 
although there's a lot going on that is just awful, there's also a lot of gratitude for this time. Um, and hopefully I'll have a harvest of fruit and vegetables as well. Twelve. I don't know how I always just know that I've done twelve, but I usually have. So I'm going to make this last square with you and then I'm going to leave you to enjoy your day wherever you are because if you're in America you're about six hours behind me and if you are like the other side of the world you're probably ahead of me. Fun fact for you. <laughs> now was there anything else I wanted to cover off before? I think I've covered everything. Basically I've been making all the granny squares, knitting a little bit of Aaron, playing a lot of switch and spending a huge amount of time in the garden in the sunshine with my plants. And this afternoon I'm going to have a little barbecue going. I'm going to have marshmallows and banana oh, with melted chocolate on it. And I'm going to set up with granny squares that need their ends weaving in. And I'm also going to take, and I've got it just here. This is a bag of grannies that were rejected from a blanket. And these made this project. And I've been ripping some of them down and remaking them. And so I'm going to take this into the garden with me. Rather than... All of the yarn. Um, this is just a little bit easier to manage and I'm going to rip them down and make as many up as I want to once I've weaved in a good chunk of the ends. So I wonder how many I'll make today, let alone in May. <sighs> it's going to be delightful. We've had um, quite high winds for the last couple of days as well and I lost four sunflowers which, again, that didn't add to the tears. <laughs> but the ones I have got, I've staked really well and um, I've moved them slightly. And it's all just a learning game. It all is just a learning game. Quite a lot of people say to me, I want to garden, but I just don't know where to start. I would just start by getting some seeds and some soil and doing that. And then as you go along and they mature and they need the next step you google and you find the next step because that's basically what I've done the whole way through. I have also ordered a gardening book um, and I do want to sit down with you and do a huge book review because I have found that rather than buying yarn I have I have allowed myself to buy um, I've had like a book budget each month so there, has, there hasn't exactly been like right I'm going to spend £30 this month on books but I probably give myself about £20 to £30 a month if I want to on books. So I've got quite a few knitting and crochet books and also gardening books so that's going to be a video coming soon. But for now I'm just glad that I popped by to say hello. I can see the sunshine and it's just calling me so I'm going to leave you with this little chat and I am going to I think I'm going to tie my hair back I'm going to put my shades on sit on the picnic blanket surrounded by granny squares maybe there should be a granny square song as well and on that note I'm going to leave you so tribe, wherever you are, take care. I hope that you get some time to crochet and spend on you and just be kind to you. There's so much going on right now, tribe. If you're not productive and you're not making a million crochet squares a day, that's fine. And if that is what you want to throw yourself into because there's just so much in your head right now, that's also fine. Just find what it is that helps you stay healthy, stay safe, and just be kind to yourself because right now the world needs more and more kindness and don't forget to comment below with how many granny squares you think I have made this month bearing in mind that I have added 10 to that one 
one per day in May on this one and I am trying to make as many of these as possible and I also did the squares on my garden project. I think that's it. Take care tribe and I'll see you very very soon. Before you go I am going to show you this square. Just three trebles left, okay? There we go. Ta-da! Beautiful. Bye tribe. I'm